At this point, the team has narrowed its list of candidates to a handful and distributed them among the team leaders to pursue partnering relationships. But if it's apparent you're on a fishing expedition and spouting a lot of idealism, your chances of establishing a good relationship are slim. Well, well no, I, I don't know exactly. We just wanted to find out whatever we could about how, you know, you set one of them up. One of the things you have to understand is that, is that Xerox has been at benchmarking for over 13 years. So in some respects, uh, doing benchmarking has just been standard operating procedure for us. We find a wide spectrum of um, people that are uh, just starting this. Uh, they've just learned about it. Uh, they don't know the way that we want to conduct benchmarking, which is on a process-to-process -process comparison, having done our homework and so that we understand our process as a baseline. And so what we have to do is we have to take some time to qualify those people. Uh, we have to take some time to ensure that, that they really know what they want to accomplish. The most telling shortcoming is having no questionnaire. Clear evidence of a lack of focus. If you have not conducted an internal survey, you're not prepared. And no matter how willing, a partner really can't help you. There probably are very few instances where we specifically turn people down. Uh, what we want them to do is go and learn more about benchmarking. We will either help them with uh, information and background and like literally send them some information, or there are places where they can go and uh, bring their skills in benchmarking up to uh, you know, a level uh, that uh, would be the level that we would want to conduct benchmarking on.